Today is Sunday, June 30th, 2024. Time is around, I don't know, 1.30, somewhere around that period. Let me see. 1.44 p.m. Jersey time. This is Red Bank. I don't know what Red Bank is doing over in Shrewsbury, but we have three Red Bank cars. They've got this young man out here, and they got somebody in the car. They haven't, they've yet to figure out I'm here. There we go. Maybe we'll see that. And this kid's doing the worst thing possible. He's talking to them. He shouldn't be talking to them. Actually, I think the area where they're at right now is Tinton Falls. We're on the fringe of Tinton Falls, but it may be Shrewsbury. But this is Red Bank, and Red Bank's the next town over. stops. This is how they get arrest people. They don't get it from everyday patrolling. They get it from pulling people over and escalating it into an arrest, finding something wrong. It's a win-win situation for them because at minimum they'll walk away with issuing a ticket.
Now, this is being Red Bank Police. I really don't have anything negative about Red Bank Police, other than the fact that their officers do not like to wear their seat belts. I've caught them on numerous times doing it. The chief over there, Conley, I don't know if he's still chief or not, but he's been all right with me. He's a little nervous now because I moved over. Maybe we'll put the camera on him. Now they're just waiting for this guy, for this kid to slip. That's what they're waiting for. They're waiting for the kid to slip. Waiting for the kid to put the noose around their neck. They didn't have stopped him with three cars for nothing. And this kid's doing everything wrong. Look at him. Everything wrong. He's explaining himself. See people, when they pull you over and they start questioning you, either they don't know anything or they have some, a hunch, and they're waiting for you to validate that hunch or that suspicion. I'm waiting to see how long it's going to take for uh, either Tim Falls or Shrewsbury to show up. Just look at this kid's body language here. His hand movement. He's explaining himself. He's answering questions, explaining himself. Dumb, very dumb. I don't know why they don't teach these things in school, your rights. So now they're going to go over to her and probably ask her questions to try to validate what he said. Oh boy. See, now he's a passenger. He doesn't have to answer anything, does not have to give his identification, nothing. Well, you know, if you cooperate, it'll just be easier. I guess they're gonna cut him loose. This must be some kind of motor vehicle problem. He can't drive, so he's gonna drive the car. Oh, he has suspended license, okay.
All that for a suspended license. Drag them out of the car, interrogate them. It's all about trying to get an arrest, people. It makes the town money, makes the cop look good, and then the chief can go on Facebook and brag about all the people that they're arresting, taking off the streets. And the cop is doing a little cop explaining over here. Uh, now they're buddying up, buddy up time. Everybody's smiling now. Look at his body language, shrugging the shoulders, the arms out, the hands out. This kid is guilty of being young and dumb. That's what he's guilty of, young and dumb. Like so many of us when we were that age. Well, the other cop is in the car writing the ticket. There you go. There you go. Merry Christmas. Kid signs on me, I don't even know what he's signing. You want to know why the number one killer of police officers, well, the number two, I should say, killer of police officers is heart attacks. And there you go, right there. I'm not picking on that guy, I'm just using him as an example. They start out slim like these guys, and then they end up like that. That's from sitting in a car all day long. Looks like this is going to have a somewhat of a good ending. I mean, I don't know if he got a I guess he got a ticket over there, but at least they're not searching cars and throwing people on the ground, throwing handcuffs on them. All this cops explaining going on. On a more positive side, they're tolerating me standing here. So that is good. The word is getting out that the public can record them. But the big question is, when this is done, will I be able to get back to my car without being uh, confronted? Oh, he's shaking a hand now. What are you shaking his hand for? They just wasted 20 minutes of your life. Yeah. All right, I guess the party's over. Everybody's going to go.
question is why, I mean, we're about uh, two miles from the border of Red Bank. I'm on, uh, this is uh, Sycamore Avenue. Sycamore and the crossroad is uh, Shrewsbury Avenue. Give you a little pan around here. We're at. They're all in love. Eh, cut them a break, maybe. Who knows? Let's see. Now, you know they're not going to put their seatbelts on, now will they? All right, it's going to drive off into the sunset. And then this clown here is going to sit and wait for me, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Just got to play the game of wait and see. Wait and see. There he goes. Let's see if he turns. Hey, John, how you doing, man? All right. I was, uh, it's Van Dyke, right? Yeah, and your name, Bad Jumper? We've met before. Have we? I, can I talk off camera, off the record? Is that all right? You can record. I'm going to record too. I, we've met. We, we've met before. I'd rather do it on camera. I'd rather <laughs> talk to you freely. Is that all right? Yeah, it's fine. You can ask me anything you all want. All right, no problem. Works both ways. Uh, my name is Stan. I'm, I was the canine guy in Red Bank before they retired the dogs. Okay. So I saw you cross the street and realized you were first. I wanted to say hi. Okay. So I know we always talked about uh, talking about canine stuff, and you're always anti canine. I was trying to. Well, talk I'm to uh, anti. Go ahead. I understand. I, you're you're right. a First Amendment guy, and I, I understand to seize your Fifth Amendment. Look, you got your all. view. I got my view on it. I have no you problems know, with as long it. as we respect well, each like other. Said, you've always been pretty good to me. You've been, like you said, I, I wish you weren't filming, but it is what it is. But uh, like you said, you've always been good. I just want to talk to you high, so it is what it is. Right. So I, I realize you at first, so uh, it is what it is. So. Right. I'm going to shut it off here so we no can.